In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to hook up your Sony Alpha camera to your computer and use it as a professional webcam. I'm gonna show you how to do this on multiple cameras. We're gonna start off by doing it on the Sony a7S III, and then I have my Sony A9 with the traditional Sony Alpha menu system, so I'll cover both ways. Before we go down that road, I do wanna tell you that you cannot hook up multiple cameras using this method. If you wanna use multiple cameras during your live stream, I strongly suggest checking out this video where I I tell you about a unique little device called Yolo Box. It's a multi cam live stream switcher. So check that out. If not, if you want to do it the easy, cheap, free way with one camera, do it this way. So start off by checking out the links down below in the description box because they're gonna guide you to where you need to download specific software to run this webcam system. So go to the website, download the software, and install it. And if you're using a Mac like me, you'll notice that there is a permanent little icon on the top part of your screen. You can click on it and check through some of the settings, but you really don't need to do anything with this software. Just make sure that it's running. You can set up the option to make sure that it's running at startup because that's what I do and you never have to go through any of the settings process. Now let's talk about the actual camera. Make sure that the control with smartphone option is turned off, otherwise this will not work. After that, you wanna scroll down to PC remote and make sure it's enabled. For the traditional Sony Alpha menu, go to network and turn off control with smartphone. Then go to the briefcase icon and go to setup number three and enable PC remote. So once you've done your camera settings, make sure you grab your USB cable and connect it to the multi-port on either your older Sony camera or the Sony A7S III. Now really important here that you use the proper cables. There are charging cables and there are USB data cables. Now you'll be able to tell the difference between the cables by looking at the little logo on one of the ends of the USB cable. If it has that USB mark on it, that means that it's a data cable. Most charging cables probably won't have that logo on that cable. So that's a good factor in deciding whether or not to use that cable with your camera. I ran into this issue a lot, so make sure you're using a data cable, not a charging cable. To make sure that your camera is connected as a webcam, check out the second link down below where I guide you on a webcam tester that you can do online. Here you can test out your built-in webcam on your computer or your external webcam such as the Sony Alpha camera. Now, along with good video, you also need good audio, which is why I constantly record with my Zoom H6 recorder. It's actually shaking my whole microphone system right now, but you can use a professional mic with your live stream system. And that's really what I love doing. Good audio is paramount to good video. So connect your Zoom H6 or other recorder to your computer via a USB cable. And if you're using a Zoom H6, once you power it on, select the PC or Mac mode, press enter, and then you'll have the option to select the Zoom H6 as your main microphone. I have a Rode NTG2 hooked up via an XLR cable to the H6, which is why the audio sounds so good. So you can have professional audio along with professional video while live streaming. Now, another important thing that you should have is fast internet. Currently, I have 250 down with 12 up, and this allows me to get 720p live streaming. If you want HD or even 4K, you probably need double that. So if you don't have fast enough internet, you're most likely not gonna have HD live streaming. So if you need to upgrade your internet or just deal with what you have at 480p, which honestly looks pretty good with these cameras too. A lot better than using the crappy little webcams that are built into our computers. And that's about it. Easy, right? And by the way, if you're interested in seeing some of the equipment that I use during my YouTube videos or my live streams, check out the links down below. All right, I'll see you in another video. Peace.